Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you the video of me doing lip tattoo or here in Toronto is very popular uh, the name is lip blush here is the result after almost three weeks since I've done it and my lips here I only wear uh, lip gloss so in the next video I'm going to show you what do you need and the whole process this one actually a touch up on my lips I did my own lips six months ago uh, with a different color I did the first time I use a really full red uh, scarlet red the result is my lips is pink so I want to switch that to more nude color As you see in the video I mix two color enjoy the video okay here I'm gonna show you what we need for today so we need pigments I chose the one from Tina Davis uh, yes here i'm gonna mix both colors and here's the pen and then i use two needles 5p and 1p i'm starting to put some numb cream on my lips and here is my lips before i put it for 35 to 40 minutes because <sighs> a little bit painful than um doing holler and pen for the color I want, I mix both colors. So here is Scarlet Red, I think, and Blush. Both are from Permablend. So here I'm preparing the pen and the needles. And usually I outline my lips with a white pencil, like so. And let's start. Usually, I'm starting with my single needle 1P to outline my lips just like so. And I start slowly from the side to the middle of my bottom lips. And sometimes I switch between needle 1P and 5P to make the process a little bit faster. every pass done I always reapply the numb cream just a little bit so you will feel a little bit comfortable A little bit swollen now, but it's gonna go down in uh, two or three days. What do you think? And lastly, don't forget to put Aquaphor on your lips. Day two, no more swelling. Day three, and this is crusty and dry as to be expected that's it you guys i hope you enjoyed the video you can learn something new with uh this process don't forget to like and subscribe and also leave the comment below what else should i do for the next video thank you bye